We've seen this problem on social media and people have offered a couple different takes on it. Here's our opinion. A guy walks in and steals a $100 bill without the owner knowing. He buys $70 in goods and uses the stolen $100 bill to pay. The owner then gives him $30 in change. So how much money did the owner lose? Well, here we put it out, took the problem and put it in words. We lost $100 from the bill that he stole, $70 in goods that he then bought, but the $100 bill went back to the owner who then lost another $30 in change. So let's go through and add those together. Negative 100 and negative 70 means so far he has negative $170. But to that, we're gonna add the $100 he paid with, but then we're gonna add the negative $30 in change. So negative 170 that he's lost, but then he gets his $100 bill back. So that puts him at negative $70, and he's still gonna lose another $30 in change. So the negative $70 in goods and the negative $30 in change means we're at negative $100 total. Now that matches up with choice C, but we see a key word here in the problem that's influenced our answer. It specifically says how much money did the owner lose? Well, $70 is in goods, not cash. And then the other $30 is in cash because that came from the change. So in our opinion, if the question specifically asks how much money did the owner lose, we're gonna go with $30 cash because the other $70 is in goods and the original $100 bill that was stolen is now back in the owner's possession.